huge news today out of the tech world. I don't know if you saw this, but Microsoft has purchased the networking website LinkedIn for $26.2 billion. Yeah, I know, I know. Big fan of that deal, right, Reg? <laughs> Big fan. For those of you who don't know, LinkedIn is a website that helps you find a job. Although I guess none of you know since you're watching a TV show in the middle of a night. <laughs> on a Thursday, so you probably don't have a job. But um, Microsoft purchased LinkedIn for $26 billion. In other words, that's $1 for every LinkedIn invitation you've deleted from your inbox. <laughs> but I'm going to say this. If bothering you with constant annoying emails is worth $26.2 billion, my grandparents should be trillionaires. <laughs> But while some websites are changing ownership, others are looking toward the future. For example, some adult websites are attempting to broaden their audiences and have introduced a series of narrated porn videos for the visually impaired. Yes. <laughs> what indeed, madam? You couldn't even help yourself then. She just went, what? <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a great idea, but in practice, it's kind of weird, because, right, this now that we're going to show you is an example that one website put out. I promise you, this is 100% real. A white woman in a cheap-looking red power suit sits next to a tall, lanky, white, middle-aged man. We move to an interview where we see a teen girl from the waist up sitting in a bright white room, cut to a side shot inside the cab, and a girl gets in, black hair, lots of makeup, and squeezing a nice, curvy figure into a tight blue dress. Wow, is it me or did it just get hot in here or what? <laughs> I mean, this doesn't sound like a porn video so much as it sounds like the fall catalogue for a Ann Taylor Loft. <laughs> like, after hearing that, you'd think blind people are going to be like, you know what, I'm actually good with using my imagination. <laughs> I'm fine. The final company to be making a big change to their product is Harley Davidson, who announced this week that they plan to introduce quieter electric powered motorcycles within the next five years. Yeah. I mean, get ready to see motorcycle gangs brawling over who gets to plug in at the outlet outside a biker <laughs> bar first. I mean, it may be better for the environment, but ultimately, this ruins the point of owning a Harley Davidson. Like, it's like buying a Ferrari, but putting a bumper sticker on the back that says, I have a small penis. <laughs> so, but maybe this is what Harleys are all about, baby. Do you know what I mean? You put your leathers on, you find some big, bad motorcycle bitch to grab you from behind. <laughs> you put the shades on, and then you're just like, all right, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>